And checking in on the weather in our area this evening, we're starting to dry out tonight. This is a live look now at Uptown Charlotte from our Arlington camera. It's been a rainy and gloomy start to the weekend, but the weather does look to be improving from here. Here is meteorologist Jim Lido and Jim, we will see a little bit of sun again tomorrow. Uh, I, quite a bit of sun actually okay. more than today. That's that's a certain that's a certainty for for sure and uh, blowing rock showing a gusty wind up that away and partly cloudy skies. Same kind of conditions moving our way. 69 was the high today. It actually got a few degrees warmer than we thought. It shows you how powerful that March sunshine could be when it's uh, out, which it was at times today. We had a foggy start to the day. Uh, normal high is 66, so we were a little bit above normal. Uh, anyway, we had about a half inch of rain after midnight. We had about two thirds of an inch of rain before midnight, so well over an inch with this latest rain uh, event that we've uh, just lived through. You can see this uh, kind of swirl in the atmosphere. It's lifting north and bringing in the drier weather on its backside, allowing us to enjoy temperatures that will be pleasant tomorrow. Uh, a little bit below normal, but uh, not bad at all. A little gusty wind at times and more sunshine than we had today. Lows tonight in the low to mid 30s and some 20s showing up too. This is cold enough that there'll be some patchy frost that could form if the wind dies down enough, but uh, that's anyone's guess whether it'll do that. Uh, winds have been very gusty today and we'll probably continue that way for the next couple of days at times being breezy. So we'll call it that breezy. Pleasantly cool tomorrow. Our temperature at 63 and abundant sunshine looks like a good bet for our Sunday. Nice day all in all. Well, right now it's 66, north wind at 16, occasionally gusting up around 20 and 25 miles per hour. Humidity level is low, dew point is relatively low, and all this is working to give us kind of a dry, cool feel to the air, which will continue overnight. Our temperatures tonight, uh, right now in the 60s, dropping into the 30s, so we've got some uh, dropping to do as uh, it gets cooler overnight here. 40 in the mountains, showing where the beginning of that cooler weather finally makes it to the Carolinas. It'll filter in overnight on that gusty breeze and bring us the temperatures that we're expecting to be a little bit on the chillier side. Well, it also is clearing up. You can see the clearing line moving in with this frontal boundary as it moves east of us, taking the showers with it. So things look good for the rest of tonight, tomorrow, and really into Monday and Tuesday <clears throat> before the middle of next week delivers us some rain that could be at times uh, a little bit heavy. So that's uh, our next system to watch, but not until late Tuesday and Wednesday. Until then, as I mentioned, smooth sailing coming up. Our radar going up higher shows the storm system that's bringing in the cooler weather. Look at this onslaught of snow that was in Rochester and Syracuse. Now it's moved up into the northeast giving ice and snow issues to New England. Cold weather on the backside of that low is feeding this next storm system, which is going to bring a big snowstorm to the Twin Cities, anywhere from a foot to a foot and a half of snow. I know, crazy, isn't it, in March to have that kind of weather? 38 degrees of future cast tomorrow morning. During the day on Sunday, we rise up into the lower and mid-60s with clear skies. A band or two of clouds come through, but no precipitation. I want you to note that for Monday, and our highs going to the 60. Here's the high temperatures. It, warming into the 60s and low 70s, overnight lows, flirting with some freezing things and some frost issues on Sunday, Monday, Tuesday morning, but I don't think it'll be all that widespread. Mountains, you stay pretty cool. Next chance of rain Tuesday and Wednesday for you. Same story for us. Tuesday late, Wednesday, looks like the rain comes back to the forecast, but pleasant temperatures really for this week of uh, March coming up here.